Grammy Award winning producer, engineer, and songwriter. Uh, today I'm going to be speaking on the topic of branding. Um, in today's market, branding oneself is of utmost importance. Everyone and every company are asking the same questions. Who are you and what do you do? Even with myself, I get asked quite often, whether it's online or at seminars, what have I done and whom have I worked with? And although posted online or a simple Google search would suffice, people want to be force-fed to a degree. And with the advent of the internet, anyone can brand him or herself. Uh, in fact, major corporations such as Coca-Cola, AT&T, Nike, Bad Boy, Comcast, Interscope, Universal, etc. Um, spend hundreds of millions of dollars in marketing promotions and R&D just to remain current and viable. This poses yet another question. How does one break through the noise of the internet? And according to Kai, Kyle Bylan of HypeBot.com, there are 1.97 billion users worldwide and over 2 billion uh, videos viewed per day on YouTube. Well, we're experiencing a swing in the pendulum from majors to independents in the, in the music industry. And YouTube is making people famous each and every day. For example, Rebecca Black, It's Friday, like 128 million views. Keenan Cahill, uh, he's on the 50 Cent and Jeremiah song, Put It Down On Me. Um, got famous simply by lip syncing. And then we have pioneers such as, you know, Soldier Boy, Chameleon Air, Justin Bieber, along with countless others. Um, but the key to branding one's identity uh, these days comes down to creativity. And we don't have to be caught up in the propaganda and hype of the media anymore, unless you want to. Um, we can view the uniqueness and creativity of real, ordinary people. It's like watching reality TV without the scripts. But one has to be real, authentic, and truthful with their approach. Otherwise, they become very transparent and unbelievable. I don't believe branding comes easy. For example, in our video this week on leadership with Henry Maldonado, president of TV6 Orlando, he stated three rules of ease. Experience, exposure, and exhaustion. One has to allow their experiences to dictate how much exposure he obtains. And at the end of the day, if you aren't exhausted, well, you just simply haven't done your job. And I think we can apply uh, his rules to the branding process as well. It should take the right amount of effort, planning, and execution of work in order to be successful in branding. What?